Right. Let me tell you about my family. Hey, here we go now. It's that time again. Let's take a look and see what's happening. Roller coaster ride. No surprise. It's life with Louie, Louie, Louie. Life with Louie, Louie, Louie. It's life with likeable, lovable, completely huggable. It's life with Louie. When I was a kid, I learned there were two ways to become a doctor. Go to medical school for six years, or be my mother. Let's see. The thermometer says 104, but according to my hand, you're a perfectly normal 98.6. Guess it's time to buy a new thermometer. Better get dressed, Louie. You don't want to be late. Mm, Dr. Anderson always knew when I was trying to get out of something at school. It seems everyone has chosen a science project topic, except for Louie Anderson. I'm, uh, still considering all my options. Louie, the projects are due next week. I was planning on coming down with a cold next week. Hey, maybe that could become my science project. <laughs> Here, store this. In a couple of days, we'll take a look and see what's grown. Louis? Okay, how about volcanoes? Sorry, Linda's doing volcanoes. Dinosaurs? Already filled by Mr. Glenn. Hey, Louisaurus! You can help me study extinction! All the good projects are taken! Let's see, so far this year, no one has picked dung beetles. What a shock. No one has picked bees. Wow. As much as I love the dung beetle, I'm gonna go with the bees. Mm. It's one thing to have trouble with your science project. Most kids do. But how many kids have trouble trying to find one? Here, bee. Looking for a bee. Any bee? I'm not picky. Hi, Louie. Hi, Jeannie. It's your lucky day. I decided to let you help me find some bees. What do you say? No, I can't. My dad and I are in the middle of working on my science project. What do you mean, your dad? Well, the teacher said it's okay to get help from your parents. Come on, Jeannie. Let's take her for a little test spin. Do you like it? It's solar powered. Great. Hope it rains. Hey, Louie. Hey, toddler. How's your science project going? Great. My dad's helping me. T-minus and two minutes and counting, son. Come on, we're ready to blast off. I gotta go. We're test firing the rocket. You wanna watch? Nah, I gotta go home and help my dad. He's probably already working on my project. Oh, you're mine now. Gotcha. What are you doing? Homework. This is my science project. Please. What kind of a science project is that? I had a choice. It was either bees or dung beetles. You should have gone with the dung beetles. At least that's an insect you can work with. So are you going to help me? You kidding? Bees are vicious. They're nature's kamikaze pilots. They're bayonets with wings. My great uncle Thermidor was destroyed by bees. I thought he died of old age. Well, the bees destroyed his spirit first, and then old age got him. <sighs> hey, thanks for your support, Dad. That's what I'm here for. What is going on out here? What in the name of... Hello there, neighbors. How do you like our new RV? <laughs> it's beautiful. Did you have a nice vacation? We had a great vacation. Hey, come on over tonight. We'll show you slides from our trip. Dan, let's go over there and see their slides. They don't want to show us slides. They just want to brag about their new RV. Rub it in our faces, so to speak. They didn't say anything about their RV, Andy. They're just going to show pictures of their vacation. Want to bet? Oh, <laughs> this was at the rim of the Grand Canyon. Oh, no. No pictures of the RV. No way. Oh, Wendy, it's not in every shot. Only because you have to take a boat to get to the Statue of Liberty. And here we are at Mount Rushmore. So, with your vacation and everything, 
probably haven't started your science project yet, right? Started? It's almost done. When we were crossing the country in the RV, I picked up seeds for every state flower in the Union. How's yours going? Well, I got two Bs. Two Bs? Well, no one's ever going to accuse you of being an overachiever. Darn tootin'. Oh, here, here, here. Here we are crossing the Hudson to get to the Statue of Liberty. Fortunately, they had a ferry big enough for our RV. <laughs> That's it. I've had it. I'm going home. I've never heard such extended gloating in my life. I'd like to give that RV a big push down a steep hill with all those Jensen's in it. How about a slide of that? Huh? Cedar Knoll first. <laughs> Can you believe this? That thing's burning my redness. This is nice. It's like we're vacationing in the Bahamas. You kidding? It's like a sauna in here. I can't afford to lose much more weight. Jensen, he knows I want an RV real bad, and he's robbing it in, Aura. <laughs> it's not his fault we can't afford an RV, Andy. Look, if you want to raise money to buy an RV like the Jensen's, why don't you get a hobby? I got a hobby. It's called raising children. And it's no gold mine, believe me. I mean a real hobby. Like my Uncle Haskell. Do you remember rich Uncle Haskell? Well, he made all those ships in a bottle. Sure he did. He was a Navy man. What else you have to do when you're out at sea six months at a time? He made so much money, he bought a second home in the country. Yeah, but did it have wheels on it? I don't know. Well, I want one with wheels on it. Sand collecting, glass blowing, baseball card. To make a hobby out of picking a hobby. Hey, hey what's this? I got it! Honey! Yes, dear? Not you. Real honey. Sweet honey. As in, I can afford a bigger RV than the Jensen's honey. Come on, bees. I purchased some friends for your bees to play around with. Yeah, they were asking about playmates just the other day. Now, Louie, your father just wants to help. You said all the other kids are getting help from their dads. Yeah, but you know and I know that my dad's not like the other dads. Now, what do you mean by that, Louie? Ta-da! It's me! That's my beekeeper suit. We're talking a state-of-the-art, fully self-contained garment here. You're gonna have the best science project in school. I suppose this has nothing to do with you getting a new RV, right? Of course not. A fully equipped used RV is okay with me, too. Just as long as it's one inch bigger than Jensen's. My bee colony had a new lease on life. It had worker bees, it had a queen bee, and it also had one thing that most hives don't have. Stand back, son. I'm going in. A king bee <gasps> with a war record. What do you think? You're late, Dad. Halloween was months ago. <laughs> All the books say that if you want the bees to produce for you, you've got to earn the bees' trust. And you know what that means. What? It means we have to become one with the bees. We? Higher. A little higher. Almost there. And that's right. <laughs> Hey, it's just me. I'm one of you. Just another bee. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Check it up on my little honey factory. <laughs> Come on, show me some of that sweet stuff. Lunch, my little busy bees. Finally, starving. Hey, Louie, let me down. Louie. Hi, Louie. How's your science project coming along? Well, let's check out my science journal. So far. These are my observations. Day two, Dad makes friends with the bees. So how are you guys doing today? How's that queen? Is she nice to work for? And me? I got stung. Ouch! It hurts! Day four, Dad tames the bees and organizes them. All right, listen up. Thinking if we organize into ships, maybe we can step up honey production. So let's line up. 
Socrates, Ben, Willard. I was given the fun task of counting the bees in the colony. 248. Hold still. Hey, Dan. How many bees are there? A lot. Day five. Dad teaches the bees tricks. Together, you have to work together. <laughs> it's with a Y. Andy with a Y. All right. All right, big finish now. What's the message of the day? Now that's more like I, of course, was completely banned from the project. <laughs> and had to watch from inside the house. I'm supposed to be observing the bees, not Dad. Now don't be over dramatic. I'm gonna fail my science class. Well, your father has been a little preoccupied. I'll have a talk with him. Though, to tell you the truth, lately, I haven't been able to get a moment alone with him. Andy, I think we need to talk. I'm a little concerned about how... I love you guys. Have I told you that today? My little insect friends. <laughs> You're like the family I never had. <laughs> Honestly. Hi, Louie. Why aren't you working on your bee colony? I've been banned from the backyard. How's your project coming along? Great. Texas is finally sprouting leaves and the entire eastern seaboard is in bloom. Hey, I'll trade you a couple of bees for the Hawaiian Islands. Louie, what are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe I should just bring my dad to class. I've seen him out back. I think it's best he keep away from the general public. Andy? Yeah, yeah, I'll be right there. I'm in the middle of a scary story. So anyway, he turns and there's a hook dangling from the hive. <laughs> what are you doing? Not so loud. My friends here are very sensitive to shrieking. You've been spending way too much time with these bees. First you take over Louie's project, and then you hardly speak to me for days. You were the one who told me I should get a hobby so I could buy an RV. But you've become obsessed. I'm not obsessed. I'm not obsessed. I'm not obsessed. Is my antenna straight? Andy, you're going to have to make a choice. It's either your family or the bees. Can I have 24 hours? Oh. Well, Dad's big day finally arrived. It's payday, my little bee buddies. Time to collect on his investment. Buy the recreational vehicle of his dreams. All he needed was just one thing. Honey! Not even a little honey for your favorite guy, Andy. I taught you tricks. I wore the suit. We had a campfire. I wore the suit. And I get bump kiss. Dad might have failed, but I couldn't afford to. I had to show something to Mr. Lambert. Here, B. Hope I get an A. Hey, Louie, what you got there? Bees. Wow. This is going to be a long day. <laughs> huh? What? Louie is really keen? Louie lost his spleen? Louie took the queen! Uh, uh. Very, very good. Next is Louis Anderson and his bees. All right. As most of you know, my science project is on the hierarchy of the bee colony. Hmm. It can also be called a bee civilization, or a beehive world, or a high jive, or maybe... Two pathetic bees in a jar! Yeah, that's a good one, too. Of course, because of my intense work with the insect community, I was able to take two bees and turn them into an entire swarm. Before Louie, after Louie. Oh my gosh. Well, it could have been worse. It could have been the dumb bees. Seal the doors. Uh, shut the window. Everybody the remain calm, okay? Remain calm, kids. Hello, hello. It's dead. They chewed through the wires! We're doomed! 
as we all know, bees are famous for their chewing abilities. Stay here, class. Don't panic. I'm gonna go get help. All right. What's he gonna do? Jensen! Henderson? We got an emergency. My bees. They're going after the queen. Of England? No. That queen bee. They're heading for the school. Good goulash. I knew that hobby would get us stuck. Well, come on, let's go, Anderson. Is, uh, that what I think? This? It's my assistant, Enrique. He's taking a nap. Apologize. Oh, I should have known. Anything to get behind the wheel of my RV. Uh, in your dreams, Jensen. Uh, mind if I drive? Here, suit up. <laughs> Excuse me, this booth is taken. Get up! Hey, Glenn, Glenn, you wearing anything underneath that? Why? Hang on, Mr. Lambert. Hi, I'm on my way. Go, Show off. That's three stops for gas already. You could put a kid through college with the money it costs to fuel this thing. Okay, 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 you're right. It's an overrated vehicle. The only reason I parked it next to your house was so that maybe you would like it enough to buy it from me. Eh? Buy it from you? You'll be lucky if I don't sue you for sun poisoning. Look at me. I look like a freak. And yeah, be careful. They won't recognize you without your suit. No time for that. Just gotta hope I earn their trust. All right, Dad. Good plan. You're gonna tear him apart. Quick, Louie, hand me your science project. Get us out of here. We need some bait. I got it. Quickly! Quickly, open the door, Jensen. Tennessee wildflowers. Yeah, yeah. Don't hold me to it, but I bet they're not honeybees at all. They're hornets. Stiffed again. Where exactly are we going, Anderson? Good eye, Socrates. You're it, man. You're the best. You all were the best bees I've ever known. Be free. There you go. That way south. Fly away. What are you doing, Dad? Sending them south? To Tennessee? No, your grandmother lives just over the hill. She's allergic to hornets. <laughs> well, Louie, your study on the social hierarchy of bees gets a D plus. Thanks, Dad. However, your brilliant study on one man's acutely bizarre and dysfunctional relationship with nature and reality gets an A. So overall, you earned a B minus. I did? <laughs> really? Cool. I'm sorry if I ruined your science project. That's okay. Thanks to your bizarre relationship with reality, I passed. See that? It pays to have an old man with a screw loose. You said it, Dad. See you around, Louie. Oh, yeah. Thanks again, Anderson. Don't call me. I'll buzz you. Hmm. And Aura, I shouldn't have picked the bees over you and the family. You're the only honey that I want, darling. Mr. Honey Bunny. Dad hung up his antenna for good, and for a moment everything was back to normal in the little colony of Cedar Knoll. Back at the hive, I tried to be a good little worker, and the queen bee, well, she finally got some of the attention she deserved. And here we are at Mount Rushmore. Oh, great. We've seen this one a hundred times. Hey, where'd you get that picture, Jensen? Now that's not funny, hear me? Mutiny, I tell ya. 